Welcome to Conversations with Kay, where I just tell it like it is. This video is just my opinions and should not be construed as facts. So let's just get right to it. Uh, Brianna from Teen Mom. She's been one of my favorites ever since she got on there. I feel like she has a pretty good head on her shoulders. I feel like she's a hard worker. She's one of the only smart ones that kept working a normal job, why she did Teen Mom. I also got to give her kudos for buying her mom a house, paying cash. Not sure she should have paid cash, but that's a different thing. But bought her mom a house so she would never have to worry about where she lived. You got to love that. I follow her on Twitter, and I've always just kind of liked her. And I tweet to her, and she likes my tweets and whatever. So, she's always been a girl that I, or woman, I should say, that I liked. So, I was pretty taken aback this week to see that she started an OnlyFans account. I hate OnlyFans, and probably not for the reasons you think. So, Brianna, what are you thinking? Why are you doing an OnlyFans account? Now, she makes it sure to make it clear that there are no nudes on her OnlyFans account. It also shows a picture of her feet. Now, I don't know if you all know that Kale um, opened an OnlyFans account and said she was making all, all this money showing pictures of her feet for people with a foot fetish. Oh, my God. These, these women. I mean, just really. Uh, I have so much in my head. It's just hard to get it out. Sorry. I'm pretty passionate about this. Number one. OnlyFans is an MLM, a multi-level marketing. Why do I say this? Because the real money made on OnlyFans is recruiting other women. That's where the real money is. So that makes it, in my opinion, an MLM just like Lou LaRoe and all the other crappy, in my opinion, MLMs. And what did she do? She posted a link to her referral. Use my referral code to sign up for OnlyFans. I was so disappointed in her. And it's not, even if she had nudes on there, that's not why. It's Here's the thing. She has so many more opportunities than the average woman her age, right? She has all this exposure on a national TV show. Why do this? Why? She could make money so many other ways without doing this. She is not like some of the women on there that feel like they have no other choice, which I keep telling them on TikTok, you do. There are other ways to make money. It's not only fans or nothing. There are other choices to be made. But my thing with her and any other teen moms that do this is they have all these opportunities to make money. Why are they trying to take the easy, fast way to cash? Because we all know the fast way to cash is usually never a good way. There is a bigger price to pay. These ladies have children in school. Now, do you think for one minute these kids aren't going to taunt them about their moms being on OnlyFans? It doesn't matter if they do nudes or not. Their kids are still going to get teased about it. Okay? Because people, a lot of people are still going to assume that there's nudes. Right? So who's going to pay the price for these decisions? A lot of it's going to be paid by their kids. And you have to think big picture. Brianna, if you ever watch this, think big picture. This could definitely affect opportunities in the future you could be denied opportunities five years from now because you had an only fans account again it doesn't matter if you had nudes on there or not it's not a good look there will be companies that don't want to be associated with you because you had an only fans account and plastered it all over your social media especially when you post a picture of feet leading some to believe that you may be catering to people with a fetish, right? Which, live and let live, but this is how other companies and corporations will look at it. Did you not see what happened to Fair Abram? 
Did you not see that whole thing? <laughs> Come on now. This is not going to end well. I have to wonder, too, does she even have, like, a manager? I'm starting to think she doesn't have one. She had posted a few weeks ago on Twitter that she was looking for other ways to make money because she doesn't make that much on Team Mom like the other moms make because she's not OG. And I tweeted to her, and I said, girl, know your worth. In my opinion, she adds a lot to that show ever since Janelle left. And I think her following's gotten bigger. So I told her, you need to renegotiate your contract or get a better manager or something. Because she really acts like she's not making big money on that show at all. Now, we know the old OG are making good money on that show. So if she's not, get a better manager, renegotiate, do something. But you don't have to open an OnlyFans account. Oh, I get so frustrated with these women. And my subs know I always encourage women and men, but I put a lot of emphasis on helping other women start their own businesses because I'm so passionate about it. You know, I was talking to one on TikTok that was crying that she had to do OnlyFans so she could stay home with her kids. And I said, listen, you don't have to do that. There are more choices than I have to do OnlyFans so I can stay home with my kids or I'll be broke. No, there's all these other choices. And I told her, I've been making a living from home for 25 years. I always found a way when my kids were little to make money from home so that I could spend most of their years home with them. Now, I did have to go get an outside job a few times, but mostly I made money from home. And this is what I'm saying. The opportunities to make money from home have never been greater than they are right now. It was much harder back when I started having kids to make a good income from home. Now the sky is the limit. It is so much easier now to make money from home. But even back to Brianna, who doesn't really need to make money from home, she has even more choices than any of these other women that don't have a TV show and don't have the social media following she has. Brianna, find something you're passionate about. What is your passion? Now, I know on the show they showed she was opening a beauty bar or something. So what happened to that? I suspect it could have been really affected by COVID. But, you know, things are opening up again. So maybe, or maybe she found she couldn't make money at it. I don't know. But here's what I always tell people, too. Just because one idea doesn't work doesn't mean you can't start over with something else. I tell this to people on Etsy all the time. Just because, let's say, you started Etsy sticker shop and then you find you're not making enough money or you don't like it like you thought you would, it's okay to end that and start something new. I have done it over and over. <laughs> I have done it many times. You're not stuck with something that you don't like or didn't make enough money. You move on to something new. But please don't make it OnlyFans. I just, my heart breaks for these women because I know there's a bigger price to pay for being on there. Yeah, it's quick money, but what's the bigger price that they're all gonna pay? What's the price that their kids are gonna pay? I just hate it on TikTok. They have all these beautiful women on there singing the praises of OnlyFans, telling people they made a hundred grand in a month. Okay. This is going to be tricky because y'all know i got to be careful what I say on YouTube. They're not showing simple, sexy pictures to make a hundred grand a month on OnlyFans. No, they're not. And, like I said at the beginning of this video, a lot of that money they're making is off recruiting other women. Get that through your head. <laughs> That's why they're on TikTok telling people they made a hundred grand a month and then giving you their referral code 
So you will sign up under them and then they're gonna take a cut of everything you make. Ladies, really think about what you're doing and think about the long-term implications. Because you have to be able to think ahead five years, 10 years. What's gonna happen then? Even if you're not famous like Brianna, you may want to go for a job you love in five years. Maybe your kids will be out of school or they'll be old enough or whatever it is. The internet is forever. And you can pay somebody to scrub it, but I'll pretty much guarantee you they'll still find it. The scrubbing doesn't always work. So, I just wish women would really think about this and think about the higher price they're going to pay for the quote, easy money they think they're gonna make. I just wish they'd really look at the situation. I mean, I've seen, now they're finally coming out on TikTok with the girls saying, yeah, you're not gonna make that kind of money unless you're gonna do some really crazy stuff. You are not gonna be making a hundred grand a month or unless you can recruit 500 to a thousand girls a month and make a cut off what they're making. It just makes me so sad that women think this is the only choice they have or they get sucked into it by all these people posting, oh, I made 50 grand this month on OnlyFans and whatever. There are so many opportunities to run your own business from home. You could do like I did. I start them all from home and when they get big enough, I move them into a brick or mortar or a warehouse, whatever it is. But... There are so many opportunities, ladies. You don't have to do this. And you don't have to suck other women into it so that you can make a cut of what they make. It just frustrates me to no end. I don't know why people don't see that recruiting other girls is like every other MLM out there. I mean, I guess the only thing on OnlyFans is you don't have to sell a product. Well, I guess you're selling yourself. You are the product. And it's going to have far-reaching consequences for all of them. Because here's what happens to so many of these women on OnlyFans. You will make a custom picture or video for a customer on there. And then they will go plaster it all over the internet. So then what do you have? You have your pictures or video plastered all over the internet for free for anybody and everybody to see and you get nothing. And then you try to get those pictures taken down and it's a nightmare. I wish women would go look at what happens. I've seen where some of these women had 20 videos they made stolen and plastered all over the internet. Okay, once it's out there for free, nobody's gonna pay you for it, right? So now you're not making any money and now they're all over the internet. And you know how things spread on the internet. It will be impossible. You might get a few of them taken down, but they're still gonna be out there. And then everybody and their brother's gonna see all your videos, your pictures. So even if they're not that risque, is it still something like Brianna, is it still something you want everybody in the world to see? Because I think she's probably more at risk for that because she's famous. So she's going to, you know, there's a much higher risk that somebody's going to leak her pictures. So, you know, it goes back to what my mom always said. Don't put anything in a letter that you wouldn't want the whole world to see. I'll say don't put anything in OnlyFans that you don't want the whole world to see because they're probably going to see it. All right. I'll quit venting. I just want all these women to know there's other ways to make money. You don't have to do this. Just because I love women, I want everybody to be successful and be their best self. So anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm sure I'll get some hater comments over this. But just know it comes from my heart. It doesn't come from being judgmental or anything else. I've just lived long enough to know that things like this go bad. 98% of the time. Thanks. Have a great day.